Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this offline installer and put this on a USB for uh, Mac OS Big Sur. It's good to be doing this because uh, in case you ever want to do like a clean install or you just want to kind of have like an offline installer if you don't really want to connect to the servers through the internet recovery, um, you can mainly do that. If you already updated it, you can at least go through the internet recovery. You can just hold Command R. And um, if you already have Big Sur that was already installed, you can reinstall it because um, it does update the firmware and uh, you'll get another Big Sur installer. But for those who haven't already installed it and maybe you have an older one and you just want to do it through an offline installer and do maybe like a cleaner install, um, this would probably be a better way to go. Um, I'll show you basically have it if, um, if you have an older OS and then this will be like an upgrade to the new OS, but you just want to make sure you have a backup as well. So let's just get into it. I'll show you how to do it. The installer is pretty big, so you would need a, any USB that's at least 16 gigs or so. And what you want to do now is hit System Preferences, and you want to go to System Update. And now you're going to see there's a macOS Big Sur installer. And you, you want to hit Upgrade now. And that's going to download a Big Sur as an application. So once it's, in, once it's already downloaded, you can go to your application, the install Mac OS Big Sur. Once you have that, now you can take your blank USB, you can plug it in, and now you want to format it. Um, you can go up to there and just hit Erase, and you want to make sure that it's a XFAT. And it's really important to make sure it's XFAT. Um, you can name it whatever you want. We named it um, Mac OS Big Sur. And when you do actually hit the format, you want to go and make sure that you erase it from the, the hierarchy. So that's the whole um, USB itself, no, not just a regular partition. So you want to make sure that you hit the SAN disk or whatever yours is called. And then you can just hit erase. And it's going to totally format it all the way from the beginning. And you should have a totally clean USB. And you can see that its name is Mac OS Big Sur. Now what you want to do is you want to open up your applications and you just want to go to install Mac OS Big Sur. You want to hit show package contents, click contents. From there you can double click the folder resources and you want to see something called, it's an, it's an installer, it's create install media. And now you want to go to your terminal and open the terminal. And what you want to do is you want to type in sudo. And now you just hit a space. And now where that create install media is, you want to just drag it over there. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell it where it's going to um, have the path for the installer. If you name it something different, it'll do the same thing. Then you want to do a dash dash volume after you type that. Make sure you add the space too. And you can just drag and drop where your USB is at the top corner. And it's going to do the file location. And it's going to do the path location for the USB. So you don't have to type in anything. You can just drag everything like that just to make your life easier. You can type it in the same way if you want. But this will make sure it's totally right and all the spaces look good. Once you have that, then you're all good to go. You hit enter. And then the password prompt should, pa should come up. And once you hit ready to start, um, then you would hit Y as in yes, it's ready to go. Then just hit enter and it's going to be doing its little partitioning and copying to disk and everything. And once it does that, you just want to make sure you wait to the end there. Once it's completely done, And then it's going to say make disk bootable, which is the most important thing because that's what you really want. And once it's done, it's going to give you this little prompt. And when that's it. And then once you have it there, you can see you can open up the USB. You're going to see the installer there. And that's going to bring you up to the main page where you can install Mac OS Big Sur. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. Um, so the most important thing is you want to have the application that's actually there. 
Um, you get it by doing the upgrade through the actual Apple servers themselves. If you don't have the application, uh, you have to get a way to get it. And the only way to really get it that I know of um, officially is just to wait for an upgrade. Once the upgrade comes, you would download it to your applications and then you could transfer from there. If you've already installed it, um, I'm not quite sure how you would do it outside of doing an upgrade because you need that application. Um, the installer file itself, it's usually, it's usually a pretty chunky file. It could be a few gigs or so. Um, if you don't have that, then there isn't really a way to, to do it out officially outside of that or going through the recovery mode. Um, if you do have it already installed, um, the best way just to go is through the recovery mode and then you can just reinstall it through that way. If you have Catalina, then you can go ahead and check for system updates. Um, if yours is, is old enough, it won't actually accept it or you might not see any other updates that come after that. If you're eligible, most of the MacBook Pro 2013s and above, they should be eligible for that. Um, you just hit the system update to at least come up. You can um, try take the application and install it. Um, otherwise, once you install it, um, what it's going to do is it's going to update the firmware of your whole device there. Um, take caution for that. Make sure it is plugged in and uh, you do have a lot of battery charge because there's always a possibility that something can fail during the firmware update because um, Big Sur is, does a firmware update as well as an OS update. You'll notice that when you um, try to do internet recovery, you can install Big Sur again after you install for the first time. And that's because it updated the whole entire firmware setting there. And then if you do need to go just that route, you can just hold Command R right when you turn on your device and it should give you to the recovery mode for Big Sur. And then you can clean install from there. Um, this is just a method for, for people who do like to have um, just have an offline installers because even in the future too, or just sometimes the Apple servers could be busy or you have uh, connection issues. This is just the best foolproof way to at least reinstall the OS if you have an emergency or anything. So that's just about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, have you tried it on any of the Macs yet? Um, have you tried it through this way? Have you, you can actually install a lot of these applications through um, this a very similar process. Um, maybe some of the wordings um, through Terminal might be a little bit different, but it's a pretty straightforward way to make sure you get an official USB ins uh, installer. You don't want to install from some third-party site or anything like that, but this is official from Apple. You get the real installer and everything from that. So it's a pretty good method to do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward and, and easy. Um, you don't have to do mess with a lot of terminal commands there. You just drag and drop a few things. I want to make sure I show you that because um, typing things can make it a little bit more difficult. If you want to copy exactly what I did, just name everything the exact way I did. Otherwise, you might just have a little bit of a different file path and file location. But you can just drag and drop, which takes care of everything anyway. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. Um, please hit the notification bell because sometimes Google doesn't actually put um, our videos once they come out into your um, subscription folder. So it's just a good way to know when we do upload and uh, see our videos as well. We really do appreciate you guys and uh, any of the equipment that you see, uh, we do have them located in the description below for any parts or anything too. Um, yep. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it very helpful and have a good one.